What's up everyone and welcome to Sketch Saturday. In today's video, we're drawing Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Let's begin by sketching a circle in the center of our page to define the size of the head. So we're going to start right in the middle at the very top. I'm just going to lightly work our way around the left side. We're just using a side grip of our pencil and going very lightly. Go back up to the top and work our way around the right side. Now with that circle in place, we're going to start adding some guidelines. Let's start from the very top of our circle. We're going to sketch a line coming all the way down the center of our circle towards the bottom of our page. And we'll extend that up toward the top. Let's add another guideline going across from left to right. So we'll start on the left side. And work our way over towards the right. We're also going to add a guideline on the left and right side of that circle. So we'll start on the left side. Extend this up towards the top and down towards the bottom. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move in and sketch two circles for the eyes. Let's we'll start on the left side from that center line. It's going to work our way around towards the bottom and back up towards the top. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming down towards the same height. Let's move to the center of the eye and sketch a smaller circle for the pupil. And then we'll lightly shade those in. Now let's block in the eyebrows. From the top of the eye, we're going to step in, sketch a straight angle line going up and out. And do the same thing on the right. Now let's move to the center in between the eyes, curve the nose coming down and then out, come down and in with a straight line. Now the mouth is going to sit along the bottom of that circle. So let's start directly underneath the pupil on the left side. We're just going to darken up that curve. Coming down and then back up. Now we're going to work our way down along the side of the jaw, down towards the chin. So let's start from the side of the circle. I'm just going to angle this down and in to right about there. And do the same thing on the right. I'm going to curve this down and in towards the chin. So come down, then that in, go out and up. Now let's move up and draw the inside edge of the hat. From the left side of the circle, we're going to step up, curve this up in the middle, and then back down over towards the right. Let's move back and draw the side of the neck. On the left side, Draw a straight line coming down. And do the same thing on the right. Now let's close off the bottom of the neck. Starting over on the left, curve this down and back up. Let's slope down the shoulder. Starting from the bottom corner of the neck, angle down and out. And do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move back up and draw the outside rim of the hat. From the top of the circle, let's step up. I'm just going to mark this off. I'm going to curve this out towards the left, round up the hat, and do the same thing on the right, going out and then down. And we'll curve the hat coming back in towards the side of the neck. So come down and bend that in. Now we're going to go all the way back up to the top and draw a large half circle to finish off the hat. From the top of this line, we step out, draw that half circle, going up in towards the middle, round this out, and then come down on the right. Once we have the general shape of our character, we're going to go in and add a second level of detail. Let's start with the top edge of the band. Starting from this line, let's going to curve this up in the middle, and then back down on the right. And then we'll lightly shade in that band. Starting from the left side, just work our way over towards the right. And now we're going to block in the hair. From that center line, let's move over towards the left, curve this out, and then down on top of the eyebrow. And then we'll just taper that back up underneath the edge of the hat. Let's move over, curve this out, and then down on top of the eye. Curve this out and up with a short line. Let's add another point. 
between down and in, go up and out. Now let's go back up and work our way over towards the right. From the top, we'll step over, curl this out, and then down, and taper that back up. Let's add another point curving the opposite direction. Coming down and out on top of the eyebrow, and then taper that back up. And then from the top, we'll step over, curve out, down, and then in towards the eye. Go out and back up. And then from the top, we'll step down, come down, and then in, and pull that out towards the side of the head. Let's tuck the ears along the side of the head. From that center line, we're gonna step down, angle up and out on both sides. And then from here, we're just gonna curve the ear coming out, and then bend that in. Let's add the hair along the side of the head, starting on the left, Start by curving this out and then down. And then bend that back out. Taper that back in with a short line. Let's add another point. Coming down and out. Pull that in underneath the ear. Let's add one more point underneath the ear. Coming down and bending that in. And then tapering that back up. Let's go over towards the right side. We're gonna continue this curve. Coming down the side. Curve the hair coming down and out. Taper that back in. And come down and out on top of the ear. Let's add a little bit more hair along the bottom, just underneath the chin. Starting on the left, come down and in. Angle back up. Add one more point. Coming straight down and then in behind the neck. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And then we'll add the edge of the shirt along the top of the shoulders. From the side of the neck, we're gonna step out, come straight down on both sides. Now from the top, we're gonna step in and go up and out. Come down and out along the side. And then we'll add one more fold. From the top, step down, go straight out, and come back down. Now once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, we're going to go in and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now let's go in with the tip of our pencil and start tracing out the contours of our drawing. We start with the top edge of the eyelid, starting on the left side. Start with the top half. And then we'll leave a gap along the side, draw on the bottom half. So we're going to have that scar just underneath the right eye. And then we'll move up and just trace out the hair.
and we'll go back and just add those folds inside the ear. And then we'll go back and darken up the inside of the hair. We're just going to roughen up the outside edge of the hat brim, just adding these little curves and bumps all the way around. I'm going back and just adding a shadow just underneath the hat brim. I want to leave a little bit of a highlight along the top edge. So starting on the left, I'm just going to keep an even space gap all the way across. And then blending that out towards the right side. So adding a shadow on the right side of the hat and then just blending that out. Also adding a shadow cast by the hair just underneath. So 
I'm just going to add a shadow just underneath the head across the neck. And just fade that out. side edge of my pencil. I'm just adding a little bit of texture to the hat. And as we get near the end of our drawing, I'll continue to add some more texture to the hat. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.